Hello everyone. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day today. We're out for an adventure. Today, there was some Craigslist and Marketplace finds, maybe. Uh, I had a friend ask me, they saw the video with the rigid and the shot fox, and they were curious, how would those machines behave with best collection? And I had to honestly say I did not know on my way to pick up a, uh, an older Delta 50-850. Back at home, uh, Ruby the Ranger is full of stuff. An actual when all saw. What am I going to do with it? I don't know originally sold at Menards some time ago, 34 88 20 bucks. I suppose we'll have to do a spiel on this later. Box of parts for the Delta 22580. A second-hand Craigslist. Delta 22580. Been a bit of wood through this guy. Apparently one of the blade holders is a bit warped. I'm thinking I'm gonna dig into it, see what we got going on with it. Maybe this will be the candidate for a helical color cutter head. I don't know. I have always wanted one, and I got this one very inexpensively. We'll roll this out of the way. The main reason to run down to the cities is a friend said, hey, uh, I saw your video with the two planers. I think I've already explained this. Dust collection, how will it work? I don't know. I don't have a dust collector. So, got a bunch of hosing. And we got this guy that kind of came apart. 
on the ride. So the ride didn't go the best. I am very excited. First dust collector. Got it plugged in with a cord that probably isn't big enough. Let's give her a little zip. So this machine has its original 30 micron dust bags. Going to do some looking, see if we can't do at least an upgrade and eventually I would like to do the, a build where we add one of those cyclones or cyclonic or I see a lot of builds online that to me look large and ungainly, but I haven't done one. So maybe I can design something that I find more aesthetically pleasing. Well, instead of an unboxing, this, I guess this is an unloading. I had a great day. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is well.